Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the bonus love reads. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius and um, this is going to be a you versus them read and uh, we are going to tap into the energy of the connection that you have with your specific someone. Uh, we will be taking some charms, we will be also adding message cards from them, we will also be adding oracle cards in this reading. We will also try to tap into the coming future of the connection as well. So stay tuned, Aquarians, and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating, I'll leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see what's happening in your connection with your specific someone, you versus them, Aquarians. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this deck into two halves. One is going to be your energy. One is going to be their energy. The first two cards of the connect, uh, of the deck is going to be the future of the connection that you have. Uh, when I say future, I mean the coming future, not the ultimate future. So what's going to come in the near future for the two of you, that's going to be something that we're going to tap into as we proceed with these cards. So always pick si uh, your side of the story because for some of you this is going to be Aquarian's energy for others of you maybe this energy is going to be the energy of the person that you are dealing with so always pick your side always you have the choice to switch the story for yourself like you know it can be you it can be them so yeah i'm gonna start with this person's energy let's see what is coming up for from them towards a connection page of cards there is love and then there is um, a feeling of disappointment a feeling of left alone it can be you, it can be them. Let's see the other person's energy. Nine of Cups and Nine of Wands. Wow. Somebody has found their happiness with someone else and they have their guards up, whereas the other person feels like, ah, left alone. So you might have already broken up with this video person. Maybe, you know, there is like a detachment, separation. Maybe they have moved on to something else. Maybe they have moved on with another person. And then you're feeling left alone. You feel like, you know, you have nobody of your own. Um, let's see more cards from their part. Let's see what is up. Six of Cups. They do miss you at times, but they are happy. You know, they are happy with whoever it is that they are dealing with. The Star card. Maybe they are, happy, they, are, they are just trying to be with whoever it is that they are with. When it comes to you, let's see. You do have love for this person, but then it is more like, you know, addiction for them. You have a strong connection that you feel for them. But... It seems like, you know, um, it's time for you to start working on yourself and, you know, do something for yourself than staying on, you know, waiting on for this person or this connection. I feel like, you know, whoever, whoever it is that you are dealing with, um, they somehow, um, they might have moved on to somebody else feeling that this is the one that they wanted, but then I don't think that everything is going to be like, you know, uh, better for roses for them. Um, when it comes to you, I feel like, you know, you might be, you know, walking away from this person, maybe even traveling away from this person because you feel like, you know, if you stay there, your love for them will never die. When it comes to this person, um, it seems like, you know, this person... Uh, This person is happy with the, somebody else. But this happiness is something which is not going to last long, to be very honest. That's what I'm picking up here. When it comes to your energy, it seems like, you know, you would be... Uh, you would still have some things within you which is going to stop you from moving on even though you would be moving on from this person as in like you know you would move on to 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 other areas of your life but you deep down you would not be opening up to have somebody else in your life you know love wise let's see what's coming in the near future for the two of you the wheel of fortune three of swords it seems like you know um there could be some sort of reunion happening in the future but right now i feel like you know what's coming in the connection for the two of you is pain and hatred uh, hatred and uh, uh dissatisfaction and i i feel like you know this connection is um this connection can come together again you two could come together again but it's not gonna happen anytime soon things are like you know 
high too low high too low in this connection so um, maybe this person has completely moved on to a new person when it comes to you you have moved on from this person but at the same time you somehow deeply still connected to this person which definitely hurts you when it comes to this person they have kind of you know completely moved on they don't think much about you they do miss you at times but at the same time they are happy with whatever that is happening in their life this happiness still will not last long that's what i'm picking up um and you could sense that you could easily pick up that sign uh coming from the divine you would you would feel that this person is not happy maybe they will start showing up in your dreams as well so let's see what else do we have coming up for the two of you in this connection let's take these cards um they need to understand you need to trust they need to understand um, maybe they have chosen somebody else out of uh, pressure or something but whatever the case is they should have understood you and you you know if you still want this person maybe you need to trust and have faith that the divine will bring you two together january to june could be a significant time frame for the two of you in this connection you need yourself right now and that's pretty much evident in the energy that you have towards this connection right now this is a past love now for you it seems like you know uh, it's kind of over between the two of you. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the weed. Let's see what else do we have for the two of you in this connection. New opportunities. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and new possibilities for your life. I feel like you know, it's time for you to move on. For majority of you, because I feel like you know, this person is definitely has moved on. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see what are their messages for you. Okay, let's see. It's all my fault. They made you believe that they are going to get married to you, but somehow they had to do whatever they did and they moved on. If and when I am ready, I'm marrying you and only you. And I feel like, you know, this is something that you are telling to your person because I feel like, you know, you are still not out of this connection and neither you will be coming out of this connection anytime soon. So I feel like you know, it's your message to them, even though they have moved on or maybe they want you to know once they are ready to break free from whatever they got themselves into, maybe they will coming and, you know, marrying you as well. I'm all yours. They want you to know that deep down they still feel connected to you and they are all yours. Do you love me the way I love you? They, they are asking you, you know, they feel that they still love you, even though you don't feel that because they have moved on. Um, but somehow things are not working well for them in this connection. Um, and they had to move on for whatever reason. They will not be happy in the times to come. But still, as of now, I feel like, you know, this person is pretty much happy in their life. But at times they do wonder, you know, do you still love them or not? Now it's not the now is not the time. That's what they are thinking. Like, you know, maybe now is not the time for the two of you to come together. Maybe eventually you will. Or maybe, you know, they believe that in future, once they get, you know, break get themselves out of this connection, maybe they will be getting married to you. So let's see what else do we have. Addicted to you. They believe that they are addicted to you, but I feel like you know, it's more of your energy towards them. Uh, sexually attractive maybe they are sexually attracted towards you july and may could be significant months in this connection as well from, from january to june maybe to till july these this connection could have uh, maybe it, it it fell apart in the month of uh, you know in the month of january or like you know the first half of the year could have been very toxic for the two of you in this connection maybe they recently moved on to somebody else but yeah let's see the charms let's see what the charms have to add to the read for you guys You don't have any alphabet, but yes, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, this person has definitely, you know, moved on. It's time for you to do so as well. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. I feel like, you know, your person has chosen somebody better that, that they felt, maybe. For some, some for, for majority of you, I feel like, you know, this person has moved on out of their own choice. They might be it kind of, you know, um, saying that, oh, I had to do this and all. But I feel like, you know, this is something that they wanted to go for and they chose it. So it's time for you to move on as well. Trust, love, dream, hope. But I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, for majority of it, then we do have the sunshine and then we do have the um, star and the moon. I feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to know that this person is happy without you and maybe you need to move on. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share if you're willing to get a personal reading for, uh, you know, for your situation. If you feel that, you know, your person has done the same to you, maybe you can get a personal read and maybe you can choose to move on from that person and end that situation for yourself. So, it's better if, if, if you feel that that has happened with you and uh, maybe you feel like, you know, your person is like telling you that maybe they will make it happen and they will come out of the situation. 
at first place question yourself why did they even get into that connection if they loved you why they didn't take stand for you like you know try to understand and try to do justice to yourself don't expect justice to come from your person do justice to yourself and your connection um and if you believe that this is your story then maybe it's high time that you need to move on maybe you deserve somebody better for some of you maybe there is a reunion going to happen because maybe in that situation you would be in a twin flame journey with this person but the question is would you like to give a chance to a person like this it's your call your situation so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if the reading helped you in one way or the other do like share and subscribe till later the next reading for you guys take care bye bye